Yo, what's going on guys? Zebs here bringing you another tutorial for Designs Academy and this week I will be teaching you guys how to use the Kurulaman plugin with the K. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that but there's the spelling if you guys want. Um, so basically what this plugin is, is it's basically a cool looking spline type deal where you can make a uh, cool little tentacles and stuff that um, kind of have the pointy edge. Now there's a way you can do it in Cinema 40 without this plugin, but I found this plugin recently and it's just kind of like a really cool and faster way of doing things than simply doing your free hand and then doing all that stuff to make the cool little spine. So to start off with... Uh, you have your render here, you know, do whatever. Um, for this case, I'm just going to keep it blank for you guys to see it easy. Um, so what you would want to do is you want to go into your plugins. Once you have it installed, um, you click on this. And as you can see, it makes a cool little spline of a, I don't know, cool little shape, I should say. And um, basically what you do next is if you are to try and do anything, it wouldn't work because there's nothing for it to represent. Um, so basically what you would want to do is you want to go into this, um, your the tool where you can do all your drawing, draw the splines, all whatnot. And we're gonna get our circle. Now, once we've done this, we have a circle here, and we have this plugin. I'm just gonna call it this plugin. Um, so once we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the mesh. Once we're in the mesh, once you have this selected, so to make, so if you, you know have it selected when this is highlighted with a orange and all that. Um, so you click it, and then you hold left click, don't let go, and you just drag it into the profile spline. What this will do is it will make a really, really big 3D version of what the uh, little spline was showing us with this plugin. So you could do some things with this, but what we're going to do is we're going to go into our circle. And then for the radius in object, we're going to turn down the radius to about, oh, 15. 15 is pretty good thickness, I would say. Um, so once we do this, I mean, you could do some things with this, but we're going to do a little bit more to it. Uh, we're going to go into the, the plugin, and then we're going to go into uh, the mesh. And we're going to turn down the fill. And as you can see, it's um, slowly decreasing the amount of this 3D stuff that's going through the spline. So it's turning into a really cool-looking, like, kind of tentacle thing. So as you can see here, if I was to render it out, it'd look like this. And with this, you could do some really cool stuff as is already. And if you guys do want to edit it a little bit more, we can go into our um, our spline. And say if you don't like the way this looks, we can change the seed to a different type of thing. So it makes a different kind of curve. Um, so there's that scale, obviously the size of it. Uh, the tension, how, like, how much tension there is with it. So this right here, it's making a really cool sphere with this seed. Um, so one, two, three, four, eight. That makes a really cool thing. Uh, I guess you can make it go all the way around. Well, that's kind of cool, I suppose. I don't know if you're into that. Um, so there's also, what is this? Kill small. Kill small is kind of weird. It kind of does a little bit of both, where it decreases the the spline here, and it also decreases the 3D. I don't know what you would use this for, um, but I mean, I guess you could if you wanted for something. Um, and also, another cool little thing that this plugin has is say if you don't want these white splines, like you don't want to see them, you just want to see the part that's uh, 3D, is you could click this hide spline here, and that will remove all that so you just have the part that uh, you made. So now that you have that, you could add this into your render, make some really cool styles with that. Um, I recently just found out about this plugin. Um, it's pretty cool, I suppose. Here you can kind of mess with it a little bit more with, here, let me turn back on the spline. Uh, basically what this does is it moves where the starting thing is so that at zero it starts with this purple boxes and you could just move where it starts and things like that it's just make some really cool shapes actually like that that's really cool saves a lot of time and whatnot rather than freehanding it so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today um, I know I said I was gonna remake the vine style last week I think I said I'm not sure, don't quote me on it, but um, I did remake a couple versions, but I wasn't really happy with them, so I'm still working on different ways I, I, uh, I like them, so I can teach you guys them. Uh, usually when I make styles, I like to like be like, wow, I really like that type of thing, and the recent versions I've been making, I just haven't been really happy with, so that's why uh, I recently found about this plugin and thought I would make a tutorial on it. 
Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Leave a like and comment down below if you enjoyed it, and uh, leave a suggestion on what you guys would like me to do for future tutorials. A lot of you guys say do more styles, so that's what I plan on doing. It just takes a lot of time making different styles. I can't pump out new styles every day, so you gotta, you guys gotta cut me some slack there. But hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I've been your host today, Zebs, and I am out. Peace.